Right, the infamous Johnstown flood, of course, it claimed the lives of more than 2,200 people. 20 million tons of water and debris hurtled down a mountain at up to 40 miles an hour, decimating that western Pennsylvania town. It changed America forever. The weather was a big part of that story back in 1889, and Al should know because he wrote a book on this. And we're going to talk to him about that book in a minute. But first, let's go to the forecast on that fateful day. Hey, Al. Yeah, guys, it was really unbelievable because what happened was we had this big storm system, a weird year of weather, heavy storms made Made their way across the country. Sunday, the storm system started in California on Sunday, the 26th of May, 1889. By Monday, it was making its way across the country, causing massive problems, intense rain in Nebraska. Kansas had violent winds. And then Wednesday, the 29th, on into Thursday and Friday, the system continued to the east. Severe rain, wind from Michigan to Tennessee. And then Thursday into Friday, the system slows up, parks itself over Pennsylvania because of a high pressure system that blocks it, and now we're talking about more than a foot of rain falling on this western, New York, western Pennsylvania area after melting snows. It was a torrential downpour that caused the massive failure of a dam, and the rest is history. And we know it captivated you because you wrote a book about it. It's called Ruthless Tide, the Heroes and Villains of the Johnstown Flood, America's Astonishing Gilded Age Disaster. Congratulations on writing the book. I really don't know how you do it. You're like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> but what was it about this that caught your attention and made you want to delve into it? Well, I'd always heard about the Johnstown Flood. I, you know, more people died in that flood than any time since uh, in, in America's history. But I didn't know what caused it. And not only was it an uh, unbelievable amount of rain, but it was also the carelessness of a group of one percenters, if you will. Names like Andrew Carnegie, Henry Clay Flick, Frick. They wanted their own, uh, you know, getaway in the mountains of Pennsylvania. They created a man-made lake with a dam that was inferior mm -hmm. and adventure. And people said, this is bad. Something bad is going to happen. And unfortunately, May 31st, 1889, it did. When it started raining there, they didn't have the, all the weather other tools you have to predict things. Did they know that it was going to be this bad? Did people know to make a run for it? Not at the, the beginning. The, uh, they just started installing telephones at this point, but yeah. there was nobody at the club to make a phone call. There was a telegraph operator who sent messages because somebody rode from the dam down there. But once they got word to folks down in Johnstown, uh, they, nobody really believed it. And oh. so when this dam broke at 310 in the afternoon, 20, 20, mil, 20 million tons of water oh, Lord. left Left that lake in 30 minutes and within an hour made its way down, destroying the towns. You look at the big story, but you also focus on some individual stories. And there's a six year old survivor yeah. who had an epic tale. Yeah, Gertrude Quinn got uh, separated from her parents and ended up riding. The, the, along this river of, of debris and flame and fire uh, by herself on a mattress. Wow. Uh, and she happens, there's a guy who's a, uh, an iron worker who sees her. He's been riding on a roof. He, somebody says, throw us the baby. He jumps into the flaming water, grabs the baby, tosses him to these other people as he continues on downriver. Yeah. And they both survive. Boy, you wonder how anyone survived when you look at some of these images. But the book is really fascinating. I, I hadn't even heard of this. I mean, it wasn't like one of those weather events that I think your average person has heard of. And, and what's happening, Clara Barton, who had just started the, uh, the, the Red Cross, mm -hmm. came into prominence because of this. They changed liability laws because of this. Wow. It really was a, a watershed moment in right. American history. Al, thank you again your book is called ruthless tide for more on it head to today.com slash shop hello today fans thanks for checking out our youtube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives